Guys, so starting off the video here in the city, we just had a quick bite to eat, and we're currently on our way to the Blue Mosque. Sorry, the sun is completely in my eyes, so I'll turn this way. I just wanted to capture that beautiful view right there. But uh, this has to be the most beautiful city I think I've ever been to as far as like, there's other big cities and stuff, but that is, it's so beautiful with the water and then the old architecture and the mosques. It's absolutely gorgeous. Again, look at this view. So we're walking that direction to get to the Blue Mosque. And uh, yeah, we'll see what it's about. Uh, you can only go when it's not prayer time, which is five times a day, but it's based on the sun. It's not based on time. So we're gonna hope we're lucky and uh, we can see what's inside. Let's go do it. It's been like 24 hours without a coffee and I think we're both dying for coffee right now. But there's not enough. Would you, do you see something? There's a dress. <laughs> And uh, we're both dying for a coffee here. But I guess a positive to look at is there's not as many tourists around, so a lot of stuff's wide open, but uh, it still kind of sucks that all the shops and stuff are closed. Not everything, some stuff's open. I just, I don't know what the regulation is on what can be open and what can't, so. Our dream came true with some fruit too. Thank you. Thank you. Are those strawberries treating you? Pretty good. They're also ripe. Pit stop for some food, more food. I had a sandwich before this that wasn't documented. And uh, we're about like 13 minutes walking from the mosque. So, yeah, it seems like as the morning goes on, more and more things open up. So, it's a good thing. So, all this stuff is open. So,. Hopefully. We're here at the Blue Mosque. Uh, I'm gonna record some video for you guys inside and around it, but I don't really want to vlog because it's very quiet and there's people praying and I don't want to be uh, disrespectful. So I'm gonna put some music over it and uh, record as much as I can for you guys. I'm super excited. Let's do it. Behind me is the Hagia Sophia, uh, which is a, a mosque here. Um, I took some really cool shots for you guys. It's like super overwhelming and beautiful inside. You can see all the artwork and stuff. And then the first clip was from one of the tombs of the old sultans that uh, passed away long ago. Um, and then in front of me is the actual blue mosque. <sighs> um, so we're gonna go inside. And then um, women, uh, just so you know, if you wanna come here, you need to have um, a very long dress. You can see Lindsay's dress. It's pretty short. Well, yeah, it's relatively short, but um, past the knees for sure. And then she has, uh, we bought this. My scarf. Scarf for her to put over her hair. I don't know why I didn't think of the word scarf. <laughs> but uh, that was 15 uh, liras. So uh, relatively cheap. And then uh, guys, uh, you can see undressed uh, long pants shoes and then kind of covered up and then not wearing a hat so just keep that in mind so that if you're here you are respectful so unfortunately the blue mosque is under construction um, I shot honestly the only thing that was really in there um, as you can see we're doing a lot of renovations on it um, so unfortunately it's kind of closed Mm -hmm. Lindsay, mm -hmm. I was just telling them it was closed. Yeah. Not closed, but under renovation. So now uh, we saw the Hagia Sophia over there, Blue Mosque, and I think now we're gonna go to the Grand Bazaar, maybe get something to eat, and uh, yeah, let's do it. So we stopped in a shop here. 
to get another piece of baklava. How's your tea? I haven't tried it yet. It's really warm. What about but the Turkish delight? It was good. What was it? I don't even know. Like what it tastes like? Like gummy. Okay. Got pomegranate tea. The guy that sold us the baklava uh, told us that he started speaking Russian to us because I guess we both look Russian. I, I don't know, maybe I do. If you're Russian, leave a comment below if you think we look Russian or not. I guess Lindsay, because that's the dress she got in Ukraine um, that I told you guys about. Um, I guess, I guess we're kind of dressed like it, so. Yeah, uh, but it's crazy too, like in Istanbul, like there's just mosques and stuff everywhere. It's such a gorgeous uh, city to be in, really. Another pit stop on our way to the uh, Grand Bazaar here. I want a juice. Getting some fresh watermelon juice. So, gonna see if you're a foodie, this is without a doubt the place to visit. Uh, we stopped here. Um, they have like every type of juice that you could want: pomegranate, kiwi, mixed, apple. Apple, apple juice is really rare. How's your watermelon juice? Pretty refreshing. Nice. Yeah. So we're here at the Grand Bazaar. I don't know if anything's open. Uh, maps is taking us down and left. I think we're already in the bazaar, um, which is kind of sad, but don't quote me on that. Uh, when we get there, when we actually get there, we'll make a judgment call. All right, so the Grand Bazaar is closed, I believe. So we went down this little path. Um, which is like a little bizarre in and of itself. Um, kind of sucks that it's closed, but I got some shots in here for you guys. Uh, the lockdown is supposed to open to in like five or six days. So um, it will be over soon and stuff will be more open. All right, so we're here at lunch. We got our water. And uh, this is one of the only restaurants that we found we could sit down in. So that's interesting and good. It's nice to be able to sit down. Uh, I ordered a donut kebab and uh, what did you order? Um, thank you. A beef noodle. Beef noodle. Show us the bread. Ooh. <coughs> a little bit of a food vlog for you guys. Oh, we're missing a little. Why is it so zoomed in? It's so zoomed in. I zoomed out. I zoomed out. But yeah, so a little bit of a food vlog. See what happens. <laughs> so, I just got a Turkish haircut. It did pretty good. What do you think? You gave him a little line on this side. Got, I got a new line. I got a new line back here. I don't know if you guys can see that. But uh, that was for my friend Anthony back in Arizona. Uh, he, he told me he wanted to see me get a haircut in a different country, so it's been done. Uh, the guys were super, super nice. Um, Ahmed and um, I didn't catch the other guy's name. Did I, I didn't ask him. But uh, he follows me on Instagram and I follow him on Instagram. I'm going to put it down below. Uh, you can follow those guys. If you're in Istanbul, uh, in the old city and you want a good haircut, go see them. It's really good. Really, really good. And uh, that cost 180 liras. So <laughs> I'm so bad with the currency conversion. You put me on the spot. All right, she's opening my phone right now. Let's see what it is. Awkward uh, timing. Got twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. It's twenty dollars, which isn't bad. It's about the same that I pay in the U.S. Um, but yeah, I'll have a new friend over here joining me. Little cat. Oh my gosh. But uh, yeah, so the weather is beautiful here. 
Um, they were super nice. They gave us some local tips on things that aren't closed. And uh, things that are open uh, are more in the old city uh, versus where our Airbnb is. Everything just shut off at 7, which makes sense because it's more of a residential area. Um, but around here, there are sit-down restaurants and stuff to do. So. Uh, next, uh, we're gonna go on this list that he gave us of things to do and uh, see what we can get into, but the uh, Turkish haircut has officially been done. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had my great film artist right here filming me while I got cut, so good stuff. <laughs> So Lindsay ended up with two ice creams because I'm not eating any and uh, oh my god. So we just did this super traditional uh, Istanbul tricky ice cream guy. It's super cool though. <laughs> that was really cool. Down here right on the phosphorus. Uh, this is absolutely beautiful. gonna go to bed guys thank you so much for coming along today great day exploring a symbol day one be back at it tomorrow to explore more of this awesome city I can't recommend coming here enough either way I'm off to bed guys wherever you are in the world saying goodnight from Istanbul Turkey I'll see you guys later bye